I know, Max. The humidity? Ooh. Yeah, I spent the day poolside today. Ooh, it good. just felt like summer out there. We've got another day like that tomorrow, but the humidity is going to be a little bit higher. Therefore, it'll feel a little bit hotter, and the actual thermometer is going to be just slightly hotter as well. 93 degrees, that was our official high temperature at BWI Marshall. Well above average, the average high 81. And this time of year, when you're talking, you know, 12, 13, 14 degrees above average, that's a big deal. And that's going to be the case tomorrow as well. 80 degrees right now at BWI. We have 75 in Annapolis. We have 70s on the eastern shore. Little urban heat island effect occurring across central Maryland. But we'll see the numbers tumbling just a little bit, not a whole lot. In fact, we're only looking at overnight lows right around 70 degrees, and that's very mild for this time of year. We're warmer uh, compared to this time yesterday, and that should be no surprise. When we look at this map tomorrow night, it's probably going to be very similar to what we're dealing with outside right now. As I mentioned, low temperatures are going to be dropping very close to 70, mainly clear, quiet, a light and variable wind. It'll be very much like a early summer night. Some areas will be dropping into the mid 60s. But you have to travel a little bit farther to the north and west for that. Looking at 66 in Hagerstown, 66 degrees in Frederick. And then as we look at the bigger picture of what's going on, why has this weather been so beautiful and also so warm? Let's talk about it. High pressure is in control, and that has been providing us with absolutely beautiful sunshine, stormy weather across the uh, southeastern portion of the United States. But high pressure has been suppressing that moisture to the south. We've got some repeat heat that's going to be heading our way and it's because of this area of high pressure over Bermuda. We call it a Bermuda high because it's located close to the island and as it turns clockwise it brings us that southerly and southwesterly flow. It acts like a heat pump so we'll continue to get that repeat heat as we head into the next couple of days and it's going to be a heat wave across portions of central Maryland. So summer like storm chances will be returning as we head into the start of the work week especially Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But tomorrow looks like a really great pool day. Just grab the SPF. Look for high temperature right around 94 degrees, and that is in record territory. I'd say once you get within 5 degrees of either tying or breaking a record, you are in record territory. And the record high for tomorrow is 99, set back in the 1920s. 92 on Monday, another day with temperatures in the 90s. Finally a break from the heat, but not until the end of the work week. Max, over to you.